your organization might have told you to upgrade to Windows 11 because Windows 10 official end of support is nearing but your processor isn't supported and your PC actually runs still fine and good enough that you don't want to throw a new hardware right now. So what now? I had a similar issue and I was about to upgrade to a newer processor but then I found the solution and I was able to successfully install and upgrade to Windows 11 without any data loss and no hassle and it was very simple method anybody can do it so let's begin the process of how to install windows 11 on an unsupported device that has an unsupported processor let's begin so let's begin first visit this windows 11 download page link given in the description box below and scroll down to the very bottom and download the iso file and select the language of your choice i am going with english united states so select that and click on confirm wait for a few seconds and then you will get the download now now save it on the easy folder that you have access to and then it will start downloading so basically now let's wait for the download to be completed now open your run program and type reg edit or simply open the registry editor and go to this path and add a new folder with the name mo setup then add a d word 32 bit value and set the field name as the name you can see on the screen then add an hexadecimal value and set it to 1 this will allow the windows 11 installer to run on any unsupported machine now go to the path where win 11 iso is downloaded and open it up and run the setup program after opening you can see the setup file just double click on it and wait for it to load it will take a couple of seconds click on next it will download some updates and may take longer you may feel it's frozen around when it reaches somewhere near 40 percent but don't worry and do not try to interrupt or close the setup after that you will get a license acceptance agreement page and then it may again try to check for some updates so this will happen multiple times be ready for it now you will get a warning about installing windows 11 on unsupported cpu but don't worry accept it so that we can start installing later you will get an option to either choose to keep all of your files and data or to delete everything do note that keeping all files will increase the installation time now the setup may again download some of the updates and if you are connected to the internet so do wait patiently and then you will get the install button for the second time it may happen it for only one time for you but for me this happened twice and the second time was the final installation button for me so click on it and the actual installation process will start and this also takes long depending on your PC configuration and the storage device you are using. So if you are using a hard disk drive, the installation time may be more longer than a device with SSD. After all the restarts and all the installation process and waiting of 4 hours, I got Windows 11 running on an unsupported processor which is Ryzen 3 1200. Yes, you heard that right. It's a Ryzen 3 that is 2016 processor. It's working smoothly and it feels much optimized than Windows 10. And you will also get updates without any issues. So that is how you install Windows 11 on an unsupported device or unsupported processor. It's been more than a month I am using Windows 11 without any problems on a Ryzen 3 1200 CPU that is not on supported processors for Windows 11 on the official Windows 11 website. I have been receiving all the Windows 11 updates and it gets installed successfully and there has been never been an issue such as blue screen in my PC. So as you can see, I'm still using Windows 11. This PC in my back is my main and primary PC that I have upgraded to Windows 11. So everything is fine, everything is smooth, there has been no issues till now and I am really loving Windows 11.
so if you are worried that if you will not receive any windows update if you read it anywhere on online that you may not receive windows 11 official updates if you install it on an unsupported processor then do not worry about that it's a myth it's not true anymore so the updates do come on unsupported processors also and it gets installed pretty fine if you found this helpful make sure to hit the like button and if you got any questions post it in the comment section down below i don't make every video in english but if i see more english viewers subscribing then I may change this channel to an all English channel. Thanks for watching and staying this far in the video. I'll see you in an another helpful video. Till then, take care and bye bye.